but I was sitting there scrolling my Facebook news feed and I found a post which named Did You Know? One of the facts which seemed extremely interesting for me. The fact said, one can travel from one airport to another airport without posting it on Facebook. Trust me, you can definitely do that. You do not have to post on a Facebook to fly. This is nothing. The best update that I have seen on Facebook goes like this. Mr. XYZ playing foosball at Visa and Technology Center. <laughs> I seriously want to meet this person as well as his manager. I just want to know. True. We spent hours and hours scrolling the news feed of social networking sites like Facebook, Instagram, etc. We just scroll? I don't think so. We also think. She is so beautiful, sitting out there, serene, and he's so cool. Trust me, guys. Bro, he has two girlfriends. I don't get as many likes as my friend gets. Is there anything wrong with me? Or just random thoughts? It's come to our mind why we scroll through Facebook news page. Are all these feelings true? I just got my colleague. I met him yesterday. He was feeling extremely sad. I asked him, why are you feeling so sad? He told me that he saw somebody celebrating Valentine's Day and he was feeling bad for it. Just a thought came to my mind. How easy it is for social media to make us feel that everyone is having an awesome time than me. Everyone else is so awesome and perfect all the time. Is it really true? Let's think. If I remember correctly, Mr. Smith once said, when a human being becomes a set of data on the websites like Facebook, he or she is reduced. Everything shrinks. Individual character, personality, language, sensibility, etc. Let's think again. I have a 30 bucks in my queue, but I still feel that I have to check my Facebook notification. So despite my best intention to stay on track in work, I suddenly take my mobile phone in my hand and spend an hour on it. And apparently forget why it all started. On the darker side, there is also a story of a British teen who killed himself. The reason is very weird because he failed to take a perfect selfie of himself. This is funny and weird, but there is a food for thought. Some people came up with this beautiful idea to conduct a survey on those group of people. So they found some 5,000 people of varying ages and who spend different durations on the social media and they conducted a survey and a study on it. The results were shocking. You might even expect that in the whole world there are only 9% of the people who use social media in the best possible way or the right way. They also concluded that people who spend their time day and night on social media are tend to be more jealousy, sad and depressed than people who are not so involved in social media. But these feelings, these emotions, jealousy, sadness, depression, is it really worth it? Let's rethink. A famous model Mrs. Zebeth, note, she is a model of, she is a model of 5.6 feet tall, an extremely famous model. She stands in front of a long mirror and takes a selfie of herself, which we normally do. And she posts it on the social media. As expected, she gets a lot of appreciation and a lot of likes. But when she was asked about it, she said, I was feeling insecure about my body image while I was taking that day. So my friends, it's crystal clear that if there is a true story behind every beautiful smile that you see on social media. Well, it's definitely not wrong to post it. But for all my friends who are sitting here on Thursday afternoon, just listening to me, if you feel that you are leading the dumbest life in the world, no, you don't. Trust me guys, 
people are much more complex and extremely boring than the versions you see them on social media. There is a true story behind every beautiful smile, the perfect lifestyle that you see on social media. In reality, nothing is perfect. Life is always messy. People are flawed. And that is how it is supposed to be. So let's all be mature enough to understand the true stories behind the social media. And you should love and appreciate what we have in life and be extremely proud of where we stand by today. So going back from this event, I'm sure you all have to, I think, I request all of you to rethink the best way to use your phone rather than Facebook. Thank you so much. Over to Christmas.